Hey everybody, it's Weather Anka Mama from WeatherAnkaMama.com. Hope you're enjoying the day. It's a little crummy where I am right now, but hey, what are you going to do? Alright, so I am so enjoying these YouTube videos. I receive like, a lot of inspiration, a lot of advice from a lot of women who have transitioned or who are in the process of transitioning. And the other day, I stumbled across a site called GrowBlackHair.net. And this lady is talking about scab hair. I'm like, what the heck? Scab Does she mean scabs in your scalp? Then she goes on to explain. And I had one of those aha moments. See, when you're transitioning, you may or may not experience scab hair. And what it is, is hair that is kind of rough to the touch. It's like really hard to comb through. It's wiry. There's no curl pattern. So although you're growing out your new hair, it's still not responding to any moisturizers. It's just blah. And it feels just hard. And that's what I've been experiencing and the reason why I felt like I had this aha moment is because before, when I would go and get my relaxers, like in the beginning, it was just so good. It felt great touching up that new growth. But over the years, I've realized that my hair just began to get harder and harder and harder to comb through. And I would ask my hairdresser, like, why is my hair all of a sudden so hard? And she's like, well, your hair is hard. You know, your hair changes over time. And I'm thinking to myself, like, it just seems so weird. And it's actually discouraged me from transitioning in the past. So, of course, I said, what the heck? I'll just live through it. But now that I know for sure, it's just made me feel so much better. Now, the thing is, and to explain what scab hair is, a little bit further is that when you relax your hair right you touch up that new growth with the relaxer but what we don't realize is that a lot of that gets underneath our scalp it's already affecting the hair that hasn't even grown yet beneath the scalp so scab hair grows and it may be an inch or two inches in length depending on how much damage you have under there Eventually, it will grow out, and eventually, your true pattern, your true curl pattern, does come through from what I'm told by this young lady. And it just made me feel so much better. Because right now, I mean, I'm wearing the wig right now, but <laughs> underneath, it's like so hard at the roots. It's been getting better because I've been doing a lot of moisturizing, and it has helped somewhat. I've taken this information to one of my coworkers, and she's like, you know what? I think I've got the same thing only difference is she color treated her hair for a long time so she actually did like blonde she went red at one point and she says that as her new growth grew out she noticed a gradual change in other words her hair is naturally black and that new growth wasn't black it was just like um a lighter version or like a like a brown or like a, you know, a little bit lighter red or something like that. And eventually, it got back to her natural color. I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid and maybe I should have known this. But I just feel like, wow, I finally get it now. Have you ever had one of those moments? I mean, whether you've color treated your hair or transitioned, do you notice the difference in that gradual grow out? Anyway. Let me know. <laughs> That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Bye.